According to the Maine Attorney General's Office, there have been more than 5,000 total overdoses so far this year, an increase of 18 percent compared to the same period last year. The numbers underscore the need for more treatment programs, including recovery homes where patients get support and learn skills on their journey to sobriety. As New Center Maine's Vivian Lee shows us, that key piece of treatment will soon become a reality for the first time in Bridgeton. This home was built in the 1870s and sits on more than two acres. It will be the new home for women working to break the grip of substance use disorder. Uh, it was really important to us to find a property where the women would walk through the front door and feel like, I get to live here. Tucker's house is a milestone in this rural community. Sober living homes are a key next step for patients after completing residential treatment programs. But the closest ones are located more than an hour away in Portland. We've been working really hard as a community to, to get services here for folks. The nonprofit is the brainchild of Kirsten Weirs, a longtime advocate for patients struggling with addiction. The house is named after a friend who broke the cycle. And then we'll have three women in this bedroom. The turnkey multi-room home will house 10 women. There's a kitchen where clients will prepare meals, a laundry room, a loft space for yoga and meditation, and plenty of storage. Any clothing and stuff that we get donated, which we have a ton already, and shoes will be in here. This room will house a lending library. Have you used any illegal drugs since I last saw you? Named in honor of Dr. Peter Layton. Layton, a primary care physician, passed away from brain cancer in June of 2021. His practice at Bridgeton Hospital focused on providing medically assisted treatment for opiate dependency. There will also be mandatory house meetings where women learn to take responsibility for their addictions. They're going to have to learn how to self-advocate and that'll be part of the process. Women can stay anywhere from 90 days to two years. Catherine Bell is the founder of two recovery centers in the Lakes region and is a licensed therapist. She says Tucker's House is the last missing piece in a community that has other services in place to support people needing recovery. If she you know, needs us to run a treatment group. We're happy to do that. Kirsten says after the first 30 days, women that stay at Tucker's house will have to pay rent, but it'll be affordable. They'll also be encouraged to pursue educational goals, get a job and do community service. Another requirement for residents will be doing some type of physical activity every day. Being outside is really important, I think, in their healing and recovery. The program hopes to have clients start moving in by December, the goal preparing to one day live on their own and continue on with their sobriety. In Bridgeton, Vivian Lee, New Center, Maine. Now, Tucker's House has started taking applications for its recovery program. If you'd like more info, you can go to our website or mobile app.